Miss Walker. I've heard so much about you lately. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Good. Shall I stay here and endeavor to make wealthy little Miss Walker my wife? You implied that you wanted to kiss me. Have you ever kissed anyone? Good Lord, how do we get onto that? Well, have you never wanted to? Have you? Wanted to, every time I come here. And, and then you were embarrassed. I've offended you. No. I've embarrassed you. Um, well, you shouldn't have been. Because it doesn't frighten me. to come for dinner and then stay all night. something else. I've had a letter. It's about you. This is written by someone who knows nothing about me. I wanted you to see it because I wanted you to know that I don't care what anyone says about you. I shall never get married. Ever. And if you felt that you might never get married either, might we not live together? It'd be like a marriage. Quite as good. Or better. Rather than give you a yes now, could we wait six months? I can wait that long. As long as I have reason to hope. I think you have every reason to hope. You do realize you'll break my heart now if you say no. Wait, stop. Sorry, what? It's just, it's, it's too much, it's too, it's too soon. Does it feel wrong? Not, not the kissing, but just the, this, I just, I don't know. I don't want to disappoint you. You haven't. You haven't. Have you done this before? No. Of course not. What are you looking at? What? Hmm? Nothing. I'm so glad you're here. What's happened? After last night, I didn't think you'd come back. You'll find me a lot more constant than that. Hmm. Is Miss Ball real? No, man. She's with Miss Lister. I love you. What? You're playing with fire. Do you understand? <laughs> Should we go upstairs?
Bergamo will be here in 20 minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> It appears that you have my niece quite under your spell, Miss Lister. Oh? I rather think she has me under hers. Well, I'm afraid I must burst your bubble. There's a letter for you on the desk. It was misdirected here, and I, I didn't realise it wasn't for me. Who? It's your friend, Mrs Ainsworth. Oh. Miss Walker's had bad news. A bereavement. So she's staying over there with her tonight. I came as quickly as I could. I've had a letter. From <clears throat> Mr. Ainsworth. I think he wants to marry me. And I think he wants to propose to me. You're going to have to make a decision. Do you think I should marry him? Only you can decide something like that. He's had... Tim. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't say anything to him when he called this afternoon. I still intend to, if it becomes necessary. You are blameless. Um, so, uh, f first of all, you must allow me to uh, apologise for, for, for being rather too insistent with, 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 with your friend, Miss Walker. You took advantage of a vulnerable young woman. You inflicted yourself on no. her. No. those, yes, do not tell me she was complicit in it. And once more, I urge you to appreciate the propriety and necessity of neither Miss Walker nor myself ever hearing anything about you in this world ever again. I can't. Do this, Anne. Yes, you can. No, I can't. It's become impossible. I shall have to take Mr. Ainsworth. You agreed to take the sacrament with me. How on earth can you talk about taking Mr. Ainsworth? You understand nothing about me. I thought you did, but you don't. Absolutely nothing. I thought you'd gone forever. I thought you'd given up on me. I thought I'd never see you again. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about all the things I said. I bought a ring. I know you told me not to send for it, but I already had, so... Will you accept it? Will you accept me? Stay tonight. I will. I walk into a room or down the street and I see the way people look at me. It's become second nature to me and I f forget just how impossible it is for someone else to accept that. But you came so close.
go home, you need to get her forwarding address in Copenhagen from her aunt. I know you've always liked her, and she obviously likes you. I've never seen a more affectionate letter. We talked about you, me and Elizabeth. She said she thought that sometimes, often, a good friendship is better than a marriage. If you asked me to marry you again, I wouldn't say no. But would you say yes? Yes. I love you, Anne. I'm in love with you. I always have been.